My name is Dr. Kristen Wolchewski, and I serve as a tribal archaeologist for the Choctaw Nation of Oklahoma Historic Preservation Department. Archaeology is the study of the human past using material culture. Indigenous archaeology is a form of archaeology that incorporates indigenous communities into the entire archaeological process, from the initial creation of research questions and research design to the excavation of archaeological sites and the processing of artifacts, and most importantly, into the interpretation and dissemination of the history we learn from these archaeological sites. Indigenous archaeology also seeks to include traditional worldviews such as oral histories and traditions, indigenous land management practices into our interpretations of the past. There are many strengths that indigenous archaeology has pulled from archaeology as a field, from creating inclusive collaboration methodologies to ethical excavation practices. An essential part of the review process is ensuring that both the Historic Preservation Department and departments throughout Choctaw Nation work together from the very beginning on these ground disturbing projects. So serving as the tribal archeologist for Choctaw Nation of Oklahoma, my typical day-to-day -day activities are varied. Some days I am in the field conducting cultural resources surveys to ensure that tribal members have access to clean water and sanitation at their homes. Other days, I am conducting research for the department and doing community outreach. Most importantly, one of the tasks that I conduct every day is ensuring that the Choctaw Nation is remaining compliant with Section 106 laws. Essentially, this means that when Choctaw Nation is doing ground disturbing work using federal funds, I ensure that they are not disturbing any Choctaw sites or sites from descendant communities that lived here in the past. One important thing to remember is that this is not Choctaw homeland. Therefore, we are responsible for acting as cultural stewards for the descendant communities that lived on this land before us. Here at Choctaw Nation, we are blessed to have the resources to conduct our own archeological surveys. And I have two archeological technicians that help me with a variety of tasks. My architects, Brian and Kai, help with creating the grid that we use to determine how many shovel tests we need to dig on site. They assist me with the actual testing on site. They assist with various GIS applications and mapping, and they assist the department with other outreach and research projects. Our program follows a traditional Choctaw viewpoint that the artifacts that we find during survey do not belong to the archaeologist or a repository. Rather, they belong to the past people that created these objects to help with their daily lives. As such, when I go into the field, I am practicing an in situ method of archaeology where I document the site, I document any artifacts found, and I ensure that I leave no footprint behind. It is our job and duty to protect these cultural resources. Another aspect of practicing in situ archaeology is ensuring that we're preserving the sites and the artifacts that we find. And again, this is an important reason why we collaborate with departments outside of historic preservation to be involved at the very beginning with these projects. Indigenous archeology span serves as an excellent complement to the field of archeology. span But it is important to realize that indigenous archeology span is archeology. Span